Hello students, this is the first Blender class. This is for absolute beginners. We will see some, you know, how to use Blender, navigations, interface, all those. So when you install Blender, you will see this welcome screen. Just click on the general. And by default, we got a cube. And you can also see there is one more icon here. This is camera. And there is another icon. This is light. You can also see the names in the right side. This is called the outliner area. Whatever you create in this perspective scene, everything is listed here so that later on you can organize according to your requirement. You can even select from here like I'll select this cube. See, same. Okay. So this is the very big area when you open the blender. This area is called perspective viewport. Perspective viewport is like similar to our real 3D, real world viewport. So where we can see the three dimension geometries in the perspective angle. So I am just, you know, you can see here uh, what I am doing. I am rotating the viewport that is by using the middle mouse button. Okay. So just click and hold the middle mouse button and drag so that you can rotate the viewport like this okay and next navigation is the important one how to pan like in photoshop we will get the hand icon you can see in this right side there are some icons here so this there is a hand icon so even you can click here and drag so that you can pan you can also use the shortcut key of you know holding the middle mouse button and with that you want to hold shift okay shift and middle mouse button you can pan around it okay if you just hold middle mouse button you can rotate holding with shift and middle mouse you can pan around it and there is one more you know shortcut using the middle mouse with the combination of control okay so with holding middle mouse button and control control with middle mouse button you can have a very smooth zoom in zoom out yes we already know like you know when you scroll you will get a zoom in zoom out right but it is having some steps but if you want in between of this value then it is better to go for control middle mouse and smooth zoom in zoom out you can also same uh, achieve through the right side you can see the magnifier icon you can click this and zoom in and zoom out like this okay and you can see there is one more icon here camera icon we already know this is the camera icon right so why we require camera we require camera to take the output okay if you want to render the output render means converting this 3d scene into an image finally everything is image right so when we need to convert this 3d scene finally to the image so that you know we can use it in the compositing or we can even render as a video anything so we need to always see through the camera okay like how we do the shooting using the mobile also right so to see through this camera eye you can use this icon okay just click and you can also see there is a shortcut it is telling numpad zero okay so when you click it will take you to the camera eye so this is the eye, this is the angle uh, where you are going to take the output. Okay. So where is that output? Where I can see? You can see my cursor here. I am taking up here render. Okay. And you can see there is a render image. Wait a minute. If you can't able to see, I'll just switch on my magnify. Okay. My magnify is on. You can see here this area render render image you can also see there is a shortcut so if i click this render render image it will take you for the output so it is taking some time and now we got the output see this is what we got now we can save this okay now we can save this as a image so you can see this is this all icon right so you can tell you know i want to save it as a i want to create a new image or open an image okay where are many things like you know you can do along with this you can change the center tab to some other editor 
but in order to go for all those we will see uh, one by one for now if you want to just save just go file save that's it save in your format like if you want png save it in png if you want uh, other output like jpeg you can save it in jpeg and save it like that okay so for now i will close this window we are back to this okay so now we need to get back to the normal perspective view okay not this camera so you can again click this icon okay or you can even use your middle mouse and drag we are out from the camera and when we are you know uh, working on this you know the pressure will uh, get confused like you know the geometry has gone to the right side or sometimes what will happen uh, it will go really away and uh, we'll be wondering like you know where is my geometry how to get back to, to the center of the world so on that time it's very simple go to the right side and you know which geometry so this is a cube cube is a geometry and you can just select this cube and in your numpad just click on the period key okay it will bring your geometry to the viewport center okay so numpad in your numpad you want to click on period key okay so you can also see the same shortcut is available here okay frame selected is also called as frame selected so if it is somewhere very far and uh, uh, it's out of our uh, scene somewhere okay just go here and tell frame selected okay you can also tell frame all there is another option called frame all frame all means to see everything in the geometry like for example now you may have created another geometry now let's see how to create a geometry okay so you can go to the add mesh and i'll create this geometry okay so you can create any of this ready geometries here so for now i'll just create click on this uv sphere so when you click uv sphere where is the uv sphere it is exactly in the center of the world it's overlapping on the cube actually okay so what i will do uh, in the left side you can see this is called move tool okay so i'll click on this move tool i will drag using one one arrow okay so for now we'll drag very 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 far and now if i tell view frame all it will show everything so you can just click and drag you can see it is showing everything there is our you know sphere there is our cube camera all those so if you want to zoom towards this what you want to do just go and click on numpad period key okay or frame selected so anything you want to zoom to the particular area just select okay so i want to go closer to this light numpad period key that's it got it okay so now then is another uh, navigation icon here we can see uh, it is going to change this perspective view into a two dimension view something like a three dimension is going to look like a two dimension word okay so that is called orthographic okay so see here it has removed the perspective feel of a geometry actually right see here and i click so it has removed it has made something like flat okay this is very helpful to see the geometry in one single axis for example i want to see exactly from the top not any perspective angle i want to see exactly from the top of this geometry okay like you are seeing in uh, engineer drawing blueprints of the building okay like that so on the time we require that blueprint of top view to be placed in the top view so that we can do the tracing you know from the top view like that okay so if you want to see from exactly from the top view just one very easiest way is okay just rotate towards the top and click this middle one okay it directly take you to the top view so we are now in inside the top view now it's telling top orthographic it's not perspective it is a flat orthographic now to come back again hold click and hold your middle mouse and drag now you are back in the same way if you want to see in a um, front view or left view you can just you know you can see there are some icons this is called gizmo icons okay this gizmo navigation icons you can just click any one of this you know icons like x plus x minus all those icons so i will just click on this x 
okay and you can also see when i cursor or it is telling the shortcut numpad 3 so for now let's click this it took uh, where it took it took directly to the right view you can see here right orthographic so again if you click this middle one it will take you for the opposite one right opposite left orthographic okay in the same way you can explore all other icons like front and back the front and back orthographic top again click the middle bottom middle mouse and click you are back and if you are you know if, if you have some zooming problem then you know what to do select and go to the view numpad period key so from here again you can start working on it but what happened this is another mistake i have seen in students see here what happened is always you want to keep an eye seeing where is your z axis okay see this z axis is pointing towards down down means you are flipped the entire environment actually okay so this is not the right one you should always keep your z the arrow you should point towards up means plus side okay so click and drag using the middle mouse button this is the right view okay always when you are starting okay if you are exploring also keep an eye the z should be at the top x you can keep it in you know horizontal generally you know x is horizontal now so that you can just you know keep it in this angle and start working got it so this is about the you know navigation okay and explore this you know uh, navigation tools along with that uh, we'll see uh, another video and we'll learn more thank you